At dawn on an overcast Monday in February, local Maori bless the massive new coastal walkway extension in preparation for its move to the mouth of the Waiwakaio River later that day. For weeks now, the public has glimpsed the bridge while under construction at Fitzroy Engineering, and now, fresh from the final paint job by TBS Coatings, it's ready to be trucked to the river mouth. The distinctive bridge, designed to conjure thoughts of a breaking wave or for some a whale skeleton, makes an impressive sight as it's lifted onto the trucks that will make the journey. Moving the bridge, 80 metres long and weighing 85 tonnes, is a major logistical undertaking, even though the trip is just a few kilometres long. Two trucks will perform the task, one pulling while the other pushes. The bridge cleverly pivots as needed. Before leaving, the ends of the bridge are welded to the truck for added safety. The power lines are removed, and then, in light rain and under the watchful eye of the project manager, the bridge is eased out of the Fitzroy engineering yard. With the experienced multi-trans crew making it look easy, the bridge makes remarkably quick progress along Rifle Range Road, carefully avoiding trees, culverts and power poles along the way. When the tarmac ends, a new phase of the move begins under uneven farmland that despite the smoothing of the worst patches of paddock seems like a rough ride ahead for the 85 tonne load. Despite this, the bridge is confidently moved at walking pace, headed towards the most difficult part of the journey, the par site of Rewa Rewa. It seems hardly surprising that a load like this might need a little help at times, and with the front truck losing traction on the wet grass at the top of the par hill, extra help ensures the progress is not interrupted for long. To the bemusement of onlooking players, this impressive structure is moved carefully along the edge of the Namutu Golf Club green, leaving only minor damage to the grass, which must have been a relief to the greenkeeper, knowing that two trucks and an 85 tonne bridge were on his patch. As the sun began setting, the final leg of the journey revealed the spectacular impact the bridge will make when finally in place. More than five hours after it first moved out of Fitzroy Engineering's yard, the bridge is carefully positioned for the final phase of this operation early the next morning. Early the following day, preparation of the lifting of the bridge onto its supports on either side of the river begins. Cranes at both ends will lift the bridge into place, but first one end needs to be pulled across the river before the crane can safely lift it. Motorless tractor units will perform the task of moving the bridge across the river. These are used because they contain no oil and so will protect the river from any potential pollution. As the crane winches the units across the river, the full impact of the bridge can now be seen to the many onlookers. The final lift takes place and the bridge is gently lowered into position, resting exactly where expected. Testament to good planning and expert execution, the move to the Waiwakaia River has been a huge success for all the people involved. The designers know their design, the contractor Whitakers, Fitzroy Engineering, Ian Roebuck Cranes, TBS Coatings, Multitrans, CPG and of course the people of New Plymouth represented by the New Plymouth District Council. The bridge will not open until the deck is put on, access ramps built and the connection to the walkway extension finished. With tenders for the walkway extension itself closing in late February, the bridge is not expected to open until the middle of the year.